have the X-Works 1934 Aston Martin Ulster chassis number LM14, one of three team cars made for the 1934 Le Mans race and the only car to remain with its original drill chassis for lightness and magnesium alloy components. Some of the notable features that this car retains is its drill chassis for lightness. If we look down here in the footwell, we can see the extensive drilling of the chassis. It was all done to aid lightness to include the handbrake as well. When the car raced at Brooklands, it was regulations at the time to have a silencer fitted. This particular car retains its original fishtail uh, with an extension that was put on for Brooklands to make it that bit quieter. The car retains a lot of its magnesium alloy components, again to aid lightness, like the brake drums, for example. The dashboard on this car remains in remarkably original condition. We can notice here that we have LHL and RHL. That was left-hand headlight and right-hand headlight. This was an attempt to save the dynamo during the long hours of Le Mans. It has a magneto switch, a main and reserve fuel pumps, the left and right-hand headlights, the side lights, the tail lights, and the dynamo on and off. When we start this car up for you, you will notice that the oil pressure gauge that's re registered zero for so long has become sun bleached with age. So for the race, it was necessary at the time to have a long range fuel tank, hence why it has quick release fuel fillers, quick release radiator cap, and a quick release dry sump oil tank. The dent on the exhaust manifold we can see here is evident in all the Le Mans photos. Interestingly enough, it is not there in practice, but in the race it is.